Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Um, this is the next video lecture number four. Uh, after the break, you are welcome again. And uh, I hope you have already watched part one to part three before watching this part four. So in this lecture, we are going to solve some questions which we have left uh, in the previous lecture. And uh, let us complete this. What is the questions? And that is going to be related here. So let us start some questions. Uh, questions from exercise that is exercise 16.2 so question number four and what is that question number four let us see this three coins are tossed once three coins are tossed once let a denote the event let a denotes denote the event three head soj denote the event the event three head soj three head soj soj b denote the event b denote the event Two head and one tail search. Two head and one tail search. Two head and one tail search. So, right? C denote the event. C denote the event. Event that uh, three tail soj three tail soj three tail soj and d denote the event and d denote the event event a head soj on the first point a head soj on first point on first point point head soj on first point which events are which events are one mutually exclusive mutually exclusive second simple and third compound compound a denote three head search so clearly we can describe a <coughs> solution simplest space for a will be a denote that three head search three head search did this B is an event describe that two head and one tail soj. So that will be H H T H T H and T H H. This is B. C denote that three tail soj. So tail 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 like this. And D denotes that a head on first coin. Head on first coin and then head on first point a head soj on first point then there can be headed also a head then tail head 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 tail and that can be head tail tail right now so head is first and now the fourth possibility are there so that is the D now uh, which one a is clearly a simple mutually exclusive a and b are mutually exclusive a intersection b since a intersection b is phi therefore a and b are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive events right 
A intersection C is also phi and therefore A and C are mutually exclusive events, right? A and D are not phi, so they are not B and D. It is also not mutually exclusive. Clearly, A is simple enough. Clearly, A and C are simple event are simple event event as number of favorable outcomes is exactly one favorable outcomes is exactly one and B and D are compound events clearly B and D are compound events. Events as the number of favorable outcomes. Outcomes are more than one. More than one. So this is the question number five, four. Now question number five. I am looking for question number five, and question number five is described as three coins are tossed. Describe three coins are tossed. Are tossed. Describe two events which are mutually exclusive. Two events which are mutually exclusive, which are mutually exclusive. Two events which are mutually exclusive. Three events which are mutually exhaustive and exclusive and exhaustive. Three events which are mutually exclusive exclusive and exhaustive just right and fourth third one two events which are not mutually exclusive two events which are not mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive. Fourth, two events which are mutually exclusive but not exhaustive. Two events which are mutually exclusive, exclusive. But not exhaustive. Two events which are mutually exclusive but not exhaustive. But not exhaustive. Right. And the fifth one is three events which are mutually exhaustive but not exclusive but not exhaustive. Three events which are mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive, exclusive but not exhaustive. Right? These are few questions. So solution can be three coins are tossed and simplest case can be H H H H H T H T H T H H and also there will be some how T, T, 
dh dht hdt and ttt these are few things now describe for first question the question is two events are mutually exclusive a is the event if a is the event that all three coins as head all head will appear all head will appear so all coins shows head all coin shows head and b all coin shows tail so these two events two events are a and b are mutually exclusive because both cannot happen together and therefore a and b are mutually exclusive exclusive right there are so many example infinite number of examples can be created with the help of these two but uh, just one example i have quoted here even one tail will appear and two tail will appear they are not ca cannot happen together uh, so many things are there but i have taken one example the second part of the question three events which are mutually exclusive and exhaustive three events let a be the event that all coin shows tail on coin shows tail b all coin shows all coin shows head all coin shows tail coin shows head all coin shows tail coin shows tail and c the event mutually exclusive not all head not all tail at least one head and one tail at least one head and one tail these are the three so probability of a a will have what is that in a will have all head h h h b has t t t and c has has h h t h t h t h h at least one tail and at least one head that is t t h t h t and h t t so probability of a is 1 by 8 ns is 2q that is it so probability of a is 1 by 8 probability of b is 1 by 8 while probability of c is 6 by 8 6 by 8 so probability of a union b union c therefore here 6 by 8 here probability of a union b union c is equal to probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c and a intersection b is 0 so that will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 6 by 8 that is 8 by 8 which is 1 so therefore a b c are exhaustive bit therefore a b c are exhaustive events events right now and a intersection b is 0 phi b intersection c is phi a intersection c is also phi and therefore a b c are mutually exclusive unit mutually exclusive events 
mutually exclusive events right so two events which are not mutually ex exclusive p let at least one tail one head will appear will appear and q is the event at least one tail will appear one tail will appear right in that case p has simplest favorable outcome at least one head that is uh, head 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 at least one head one head and two tail one head and two tail that is t h t that is t t h two head will appear two head and one tail that is h t h that is t h h and three head may appear this is what p q at least one tail that is head head tail head tail head tail head head two tail two tail one head tail head tail head tail tail and three tail will appear at least one tail here clearly p and q ph uh, p intersection q here p intersection q h uh, six of them are common h t t t h t t t h right h h t h t h and t h h which is not equal to zero and therefore p and q are not mutually exclusive mutually exclusive event exclusive event now fourth question fourth part of the question is here fourth part is there two events which are mutually exclusive but uh, not exhaustive yes the same example mutually exclusive but not exhaustive two events are mutually exclusive but not exhaustive i of above mentioned one age event that h h h and b is the event that all tail will appear they are mutually exclusive but not exhaustive so probability of a is 1 by 8 probability of b is 1 by 8 and probability of a intersection b is 0 0 right now because nothing common they are mutually exclusive now probability of a union b is equal to probability of a that will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 minus 0 1 by 8 1 by 8 minus 0 that is 2 by 8 which is 1 by 4 clearly it is not equal to 1 and therefore a and b are not exhaustible therefore a and b are not exhaustible exhaustive event right now question number five five three events which are mutually exclusive but not exhaustive three events are mutually exclusive a b c are mutually exclusive a is the event that all three heads will appear b is the event that one head all tail will appear and d is the event say d is the event that all three are mutually exclusive at least one head will appear here d is the event that one head will appear so head tail tail and head tail 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 head tail and 
tail tail head that one tail exactly one head will appear exactly one head will appear so this is so a b and d are mutually exclusive nothing common right now here a intersection b is phi a intersection d is also phi b intersection d is also phi b intersection d is also phi right now so therefore a b d are mutually exclusive events but probability of a union b union d is what that is h h h t t t and this is h t t t h t and t t h which is not equal to 1 so probability of therefore probability of a union b union d is equal to 5 by 8 which is not equal to 1 and therefore a b d are not exhaustive events right not exhaustive so i hope you got it now let us discuss question number 6 two dice are thrown two dice are thrown are thrown two dice are thrown the events a b c are as follows the events a b c are as follows follows a is the event a is the event getting an even number on first die getting an even number on first die B is the event getting an odd number on first die getting an odd number on first die first die C getting the sum of number on die is less than 5 getting the sum of numbers numbers on the dice on the dice is less than equal to 5 describe the event now describe the event describe the events first a not second not B, not B, third, A or B, fourth, A and B, A and B, fifth, A but not C, A but not C, sixth, B or C, B or C. 7th H B and C and 8th H A intersection B dash intersection C dash so A is getting an even number of first die now let us solve this solution A is getting an age uh, even even number on first die even number on first die even number on first die means 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 4 5 4 6 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 
एंड फोर सिक्स सिक्स वन सिक्स टू सिक्स थ्री सिक्स फोर सिक्स फाइव एंड सिक्स सिक्स दिस इज ए बी गेटिंग ऑड नंबर ऑन फर्स्ट डाइ एंड देर फोर बी विल बी द इवेंट वन 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 टू वन थ्री वन फोर वन फाइव वन सिक्स थ्री वन थ्री टू थ्री 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 फोर थ्री फाइव एंड थ्री सिक्स राइट फाइव वन फाइव टू फाइव थ्री फाइव फोर फाइव फाइव एंड फाइव सिक्स राइट so b is this event now um that is c getting the sum of number on dice less than 5 c is the sum of number less than 5 that can be 11 11 right na 2 21 12 three can be coming to way and uh, four can come in 2 2 3 1 One three, four can come in three way, and less than five, some can come either two, three, or four. So two, three, or four can come, right? Now uh, we have to find now answer of the questions are the first question is probability of first question answer. First question is a dash a complement. So a complement. A complement is except A. That is except A. Everything is present in B. So one one, one two, one three, one four, right? One five, one six. This is the event. Three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, and three six, right? So all items present in B. That is A not. Five one, five two, five three, five four, five five, five six. The sage describe the event A not. That is B. Clearly B. A not is B. Now the next uh, part of the question is second. Second part of the question is not B. Not B means A. Not B means except B, so that is A clearly. Not B is A. You can write the elements of all elements of A. That is not B. So not B is A. That is two one, two two, two three, two four, two five, two six, four one, four two, four three, four four, four five. Four six six one six two six three six four six five and six six. So this is what not B. Now the question is that is A. Not B is nothing else but A. You can write it. Now question number three. Three is here and third part of this. Is A or B? A or B? So this is P A union B. That is P A plus P B. Isn't it? We will mix all of them, and that will be A or B means A union B. We have not to find A or B means A union B. Either elements of A or elements of B. So all thirty-six elements are there. One one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six, right? Similarly, two one two, two six, three one two, three six, and similarly six one two, six six. All thirty-six elements are there, which will come like this, right? So 
that is A intersects in A or B. Fourth one, A and B, A and B is nothing else but A intersects in B, that is 5, nothing common. So A intersects in B, nothing is common. Now fifth question, A but not C, A but not C, but not C. It means A minus C we have to calculate and A minus C that is what will come? So which will describe as an event A minus C out of A, C is there that uh, C will be 2, 1, 2, 2. I can X remove this 2, 1 and 2. So 2, 1 and 2, 2 can be removed and the rest of them are left. Even number one first time. 2, 1, 2, 2. So here the things will come like 2, 1, 2, 2. We left 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 4, 4, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, right? So this is A but not C. Now sixth part of this question is, Sixth part is given B or C. B or C. This employee B union C. So B union C is first odd number. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Right? Then 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. 3, 4, 3, 5, and 3, 6, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, and 5, 6, and 2, 1, and 2, 2. These are also. So B and C together can have this number. Now, seventh part of this question is, Seventh one B and C. B and C means B intersection C. And B intersection, what is common? 2, 1 is in 2, 1 is not common because uh, here 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 3, 1. These are the B intersection C. And now part 8. Part 8 is there. That A intersection B naught intersection C naught. So A B inters B naught is A. So A intersection A is A and C naught that is A intersection C naught. B naught that will be A only and intersection C naught that is what the items will come which, which is common in a and not in c not so it will be a but not in c not so a that is a even number on first dice even number on first dice that is 2 1 we can write here that is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, and C naught is <coughs> 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, A, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. This is what A. 
and uh, that you have to calculate okay now 6162636465 and 66 c not means what c not means the sum is 5 or more than 5 so that is c not is 5 that is 3 2 2 3 4 1 1 4 right now so these are 5 6 can come 3 3 4 1 4 2 2 4 5 1 1 5 isn't it like that and uh, 6 and 7 can come like 6 1 1 6 5 2 2 5 4 3 3 4 and uh, 7 8 can come like 8 will come here like uh, 8 can come like 6 2 6 2 2 6 5 3 3 5 4 4 9 can come 4 5 5 4 6 3 3 6 10 can come as 5 5 6 4 4 6 11 can come 6 5 and 5 6 and 12 can come 6 6 so this is c naught what is common in these two? So A intersection, B intersection, C naught H, and therefore A intersection, B naught intersection, C naught is equal to what is common in this? That is A and C naught. <coughs> A and C naught. So that is uh, 2 1. First number must be an even. So, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, <coughs> 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, right, and uh, 2, 6, right, that would be also possible. Now, 4 1, 4 2, 4 3, 4 4, 4 5, 4 6, and 6 1, 6 2, 6 3, 6 4, 6 5, and 6 6. All are present here. So that will be answer of this event. I hope you got it. Okay. These are present in all of them. Now the next question is question number 7. And this question is described. We refer to question number 7. We state true and false. Refer to question number. Above question. Refer to above question. A state true or false. True or false. So the very first part is A and B are mutually exclusive. A and B are mutually exclusive. Yes. Mutually exclusive. Answer is since yes. True. Since A intersection B is 5. Second part of the question is a and B are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. A and B are mutually exclusive. That has been proved mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Yes. Exhaustive. Yes. This is also true. True. Why? Because probability of A plus probability of B is um, 18 by 36 plus 18 by 36 is equal to half plus half is 1 half 
plus half is 1 and therefore they are exhausted. Third part is third part and third one is given A is equal to B complement. Yes, this is also true. We have already proved this. Fourth part is A and C are mutually exclusive. A and C are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. False. Why? Because A intersection B is A intersection C is um, 2 1 and 2 2. So the which is not equal to 0. <coughs> now question number 5 is here. 5 A and B dash are mutually exclusive. A and B dash are mutually exclusive. Exclusive. No. A intersection B dash is A intersection A since B dash is A which is not equal to 0 since B complement is A already put and therefore they are not false. This is also false. Now question number 6. Sixth question is A dash B dash and C are mutually exclusive and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive and exhaustive mutually exclusive A intersection C A no false false why since a intersection c is not zero b dash intersection c is not zero right now and uh, a intersection b dash is equal to that is zero so a dash and b dash are exhaustive but these are not Ex, ex, mutually exclusive and exhaustive is not because uh, A dash, B dash and C is equal to exclusive. So one of them is false so other is also automatically false. Not. So we can write it false. Right? So that is why um, this question has answered like this. Hopefully you enjoyed all this and understood the basic concept of the probability these all will be very very helpful to understand the basic concepts and develop the uh, ideology and uh, basic theory of probability so i hope uh, you have uh, understood it and enjoyed it so keep watching and uh, we will see in the next class with the new concepts thank you thank you very much god bless